Welcome and welcome back to another episode of Double Helping. It's Lonnie and today we're going to be making bison cheeseburgers with bacon jam. Be sure to follow us on Instagram where we post other amazing recipes and tips. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Our jam is going to need to simmer, so to prep, I'm starting by chopping up about five cloves of fresh garlic. One whole Vidalia sweet onion. If you can't find a Vidalia onion, you can use what you have. I'm slicing up one pack of thick cut bacon. Whole Foods has some amazing tasting organic options. I'm adding the bacon to a saucepan on medium high heat. Cook to your desired liking. Now we are going to drain this bacon. However, save about two tablespoons to saute your onion. Use two tablespoons of bacon grease to saute your chopped onion in the saucepan. Occasionally stir your onions while it is sauteing until they become translucent in color. Now I'm stirring in one cup of brown coconut sugar. Let it all meld and combine. Brew a strong cup of your favorite coffee, or for those who aren't coffee drinkers, you can stop by Starbucks or a coffee shop for a small cup. We'll be using half a cup. One fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. One eighth teaspoon of cumin. One eighth teaspoon of chili powder. And one eighth teaspoon of paprika. Add your drained bacon to the pot. Combine well and remove from heat to allow the jam to thicken. Now, to get started on our patties, I'm using this ground bison meat that I found at Aldi. It's 90-10 and it was so juicy. Check out some bonuses to eating bison meat. Since we want the full flavor of the meat to shine and we're already adding bacon jam, we're seasoning with sea salt and pepper to taste. Here's a look at our meat all mixed up. I'd say one pound makes three to four patties depending on your bun size. This is one to two tablespoons of olive oil in a skillet on medium high heat. Pressing a circle into one side of your patty will allow the meat to cook evenly. patties three minutes on each side. Then remove from heat and allow patties to settle for five minutes. We chose this amazing Simple Truth goat cheese from Kroger and it did not disappoint. Let's stack this thing. Can we agree that these recipes keep getting better and better? So much flavor. Serve and enjoy.